Today we're just going to go through a few different bits and pieces in regards to fitting camshafts to late uh, VE based engines, so 6 litres, so L77, L76, or even possibly found in late BZ. When these guys start doing camshaft swaps, why we have to do an AFM or DOD delete. Now, now, if you guys are unaware of the term, basically anything you see badged with an AFM badge has what they call displacement on demand, where under certain driving conditions, the engine will drop down to four cylinders. So whether it's related to throttle position or load, so if you're doing 100 k's on the freeway, just cruising along, and it'll drop four cylinders. The, it's all well and good at the time for fuel economy and stuff like that, but when guys want to start putting camshafts in, there's a, a few issues that arise when that happens. The main issue is the lifters. So it's something that there's an odd set of lifters in the car from when it does drop the displacement. When you do see the lifter, it does have quite a big spring on the top of it. Now, when you fit camshafts with big lifts, so we're talking, you know, to give you an idea, the standard camshaft is low 200s in duration and sort of low 500 power lift mark. You know, guys start putting camshafts with 230, 240 degrees duration and 600 power plus lift. There's a problem with that spring. It actually breaks. Now, it may not break straight away, but over time, you definitely will have an issue with, I've seen a lot of cars have had that issue where guys don't replace them and it's just easier to do it all in one go while the car's in the shop. When the guys go to do it, there's a few other different bits and pieces involved in our, what we call our DOD Delete Kit, which we do sell as a complete unit. And that includes head gaskets, because it's cylinder heads off, head gaskets, head bolts, because they're one use only, and a full set of normal roller lifters as per like an early six liter, like an L98, and it replaces those lifters with the spring. Also, uh, a major part of it is what they call the valley plate, which is in the center of the engine. Now, when the DOD car does its thing where it drops the cylinders, there's four solenoids in that plate. Now, that bleeds off the pressure to do that. Now, when you take all those lifters out, you actually need to replace the valley plate and convert it basically into what they call an L98, which is the earlier version of that engine. That kit is complete with, like I said as before, head bolts, head gaskets, full set of lifters, the lifter buckets where the lifters sit, the valley plate, all the stuff to delete that out of the engine. So that basically covers late VZ with an L76, so Calais SS, non HSV, and also anything from VE late 09, 2010 onwards to so the current model. Anything HSV, so 6.2 LS3, escapes it, it has a normal set of roller lifters in it, a normal valley plate. Some of the cases in the early days for VE, uh, between sort of 09, 08, 09, it was only found in automatics but it's not the case now, it's all, it's across the range. You know, even VZ, it was still fitted, but it wasn't active via the software, but the parts are still there. So even if the guys do that, it might be ticked off in the software, but it's gotta be pulled out of the car when it's camshaft. So you just have to do it. And we, I talk to customers pretty regularly and they still ask me questions why, you know, it's an added expense, but it's worth the money. And I do get guys that, you know, it takes a little bit of convincing, but we've seen it before where it can have issues and we don't want to pass that on to the guys that are doing the conversion or the camshaft swap.